Oh, hey, I'm Greg from the Marketing O'Clock Digital Marketing Podcast. Today, we're going to run through how you can build custom segments based around purchase intentions. You're probably wondering, what is a purchase intention? Good question. The answer, according to Google, is that your ads will reach people likely to be interested in or with purchase intent for your keywords based on their behavior and activities such as apps, they use or the type of content they search for online. And we're going to walk through building an audience with purchase intent and how you can use it in your Google ads account. Let's go. So first up, you need to make sure you've got your ad group set and ready. Hop on over to your audience manager. That's where I am right now. And we're going to start by building a brand new audience. And for this example, we'll say that it is, we're targeting a potential podcast listener of Marketing O'Clock. So let's say purchase intent for maybe digital marketing software. That might be something good. Um, so let's say software intent. And what you can see with these custom segments is the ability to create based off of search activity, downloaded apps, or visited sites. And we're going to make a new segment here. Once you hop in, you can see that there is people with any of these interests or purchase intentions, this is what we want to have clicked on. And we'll call this SEO software intent. Because if you're probably trying to buy SEO software or maybe PPC software, whatever it is, you might be interested in the show. So what you do here is then you add in specific keywords and Google will start to populate this for you. So if I type in SEO, we can see that there are some interests or purchase intent ideas that pop up here. Uh, apparently somebody's trying to buy Google search optimization. Maybe it's somebody that's looking for actual SEO services. So this might make sense um, where we can say, let's add that in. You'll see this pop up um, and show into your custom segment as uh, an interest or purchase intent. Let's do another one and say SEO software. And we can see somebody might be looking for a keyword SEO tool or a research tool. Maybe somebody that's looking for these specifically will be interested in the show. So we've loaded three of these up and we're calling this SEO software intent. So it's people that are looking to purchase or use uh, keyword SEO tools or in this case, Google search optimization. Since some of these are more similar than the others, I'm actually gonna say, let's make sure it's tool. So we'll say software and tools intent here. One little trick that you can do kind of pro tip here is if you put in different terms, um, a lot of times you'll get different interests that are already pre-built right here. So let's say we're gonna type in different search engine optimization, and we might see some other items here, keyword ranking Google, that falls in line with the keyword tools that we have here. And now we've got three terms that are all very similar. One thing you'll see in the sidebar is the total number of impressions. This starts with all countries, all languages, and everything like that. So in this case, we're probably going to go to the United States only. And we'll toss that in, and we should see those impressions drop down quite a bit. Um, so you can see how big roughly an audience might be from one of these purchase intent audiences that we're using. And this didn't trim it down at all here but let's save this and get this thing into action. Okay, so we now have our audience name, software intent, um, using that custom segment, and we'll call it purchase intent. And we'll even say soft SEO in front of it, just to be really clear. So software and tools intent. Um, okay, we don't need any other data. We're just going to use only this purchase intent and hit save. One mistake that a lot of people make here is they'll get every term imaginable and every type of purchase intent imaginable and make a massive audience. The problem when you do this is you don't know which one of those purchase intents is actually working and which one is not working. So that's why when you saw me set this up, I had everything be uh, tool-based. So keyword tool, um, and then Google tool, and then SEO keyword tool. Uh, by keeping them tightly together, we'll be able to see how that audience performs. And if in that audience, there's just too much going on, it's really hard to see like what signals are working through that noise. 
So I always go towards the side of keeping things simple, right? I'd rather have one that's a keyword tool and one that's a ranking tool. I'd rather have two different audiences for that because then I could see which one is performing. And if we have them all together, I just don't have any visibility as to what's working or not. And then the last thing we do is we'll go through, I have a custom segment training campaign. I'll go to the ad group here. Um, I'll hop in and then I'll add the audience here to the ads that are pre-existing. And I'll pop in and we want to do targeting that will make sure we're only targeting those specific folks. And we'll go to grab those custom segments that we have here. And we should be able to see we've got that SEO software and tools intent, and then we can save. So now we're running those ads and we're running them only to people that have that purchase intent. Again, if I were to build this out, I would probably add another 10 different ad groups in here and have one be about keyword tools, one be about SEO ranking software, one be about PPC tools, one be about PPC news, something like that. And then you'll be able to see the granularity and how each of those ad groups occur and how each of those segments occur and not have it all clumped together as one. And then one last tip for you, you can use a tool like the Ahrefs or SEMrush, whatever you use, even Google Keyword Planner. Uh, a lot of times things don't pop up in those purchase intents, but you can actually find more. And if you put in a more specific terms, you'll get more that will actually populate you can work with. So use other tools, not just the inputs that you see pull through. And a lot of times you'll get more targeting options. And that does it. If you like this video, you will love Marketing O'Clock. It's our weekly digital marketing news podcast where we cover everything that happened in the past week that you need to know. It comes out every Friday, rain or shine. You can find it right here on YouTube or on your favorite podcast player. And if you need more help, didn't figure it out, just give us a call over at cypressnorth.com. We do this all day long and we can help you and your accounts.